Isabel, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the process is like here today for this special show? For the special show, we have nine, ten artists, and uh, so we're in full glory of the makeup and the costumes. We have six bungees, which sport all the same makeup, which is a special makeup that doesn't come out that often, so it's a very nice thing for us so that it's, we don't do it a, a whole lot. We have two clowns, so make, clown makeups are always fun for us. So we have one that's been specially made, and it's, it's sporting the Infinity kind of logo on it because it's been stamped for this, for this event. So we're at the end of the process. We're only, I think we have about two, three artists to go, and then uh, in, up in costume and they off to rehearsal. And where does the inspiration come from for each character? Is it all unique? It's all unique and the makeup designer is very, very closely tied to the costume designer. So they worked, they have the same inspirations, the same kind of line to follow and they really have to match since the, the, the um, character is a whole character. So we want to make sure that everybody's happy with that and at the end it is the um, director who has the final say on the character. So why don't you tell us a little bit about you know how when they're on tour they're actually responsible for taking care of their own makeup. That's part of our team's mandate that we, all the artists have to be taught how to do their makeup. So they usually they all come through Montreal and we get a, a chance to teach them which you would think maybe it's a hard process but these artists are so drilled to be excellent and to follow steps in a sense. So it's easy for us to just make sure that they follow the steps, they do it well, and they want to excel. We have two ways to make shoes. Either we'll make a shoe from scratch, so we'll make the sole, the laces, the cover, the, the leather uh, covering, or we will cover up an existing sports shoe, uh, depending on what the artist needs to do on stage. But we also make our own molds depending on the, the, um, the size of the shoe, but the shape of the shoe. Um, for example, on Corteo, we have a giant. This is his shoe size, really. This is not a, a mold for the shape, it's his actual shoe size. And in that same show, we have a little person, it's called. And she's an adult, she's uh, in her mid-40s, and this is her actual shoe size. So in these instances, we actually need to make something appropriate. I mean, it doesn't fit in any of our in in any of our sizes that already exist. So we need to make the molds. But there's also things like this, which is um, this is a shoe uh, for Ka, one of the shows, the permanent shows in Las Vegas. It's um, it's uh, sort of a ninja shoe. So the artist actually have their big toe on one side and the rest on the other. So in order to make that shoe, we obviously need to make a specific mold for it. So most of the um, artisans here have years and years of experience in making shoes. They're specialist shoemakers. So the first thing that um, the artists need to do when they sign a contract with Cirque du Soleil is get their head molded in order for them to not have to fly back to Montreal every time we need to make a new wig or a new hat. So all the artisans here that work on um, hats and wigs work off of the actual artist's head in order to make sure that it's, it fits perfectly. Um, this is for obvious uh, security reasons. So there's an actual step-by-step -step for every item. It shows us the inspiration what it should look like, this is the, the sketch, what's included, so every, like this is the beard that will go on this, uh, that will be part of the costume, and what to use in order to make that happen, to make that look exact. And then we've got all the, uh, the technique of how to implement it and how to glue it together and all of that. So every single piece, whether it's the beard, whether it's an accessory, it has a step-by-step -step for it. So we have some art artisans that will actually paint uh, the, um, the patterns on directly onto the material. And this is actually a costume that they're uh, painting for O. O is one of the uh, costumes which we need to 
renew the most often because it's a water show because of the chlorine um, and to make sure that the, the color doesn't wash out. This is the finished product. I mean it's this one is used but it's just to give you an example of what the pattern what they're doing and what it looks like as a result.